Hey guys and girls, this is Snowy here and welcome to Boomtown Part 5. Yes, Boomtown Part 5. Okay, in the previous episode, in the previous episode, we have been building out this area and also these um, special areas for the industrial goods. But there's a catch that I was forgetting to tell you guys, because... How does this system works actually when I get out of here and I will show you because there is a symbol here waving it says not enough raw materials now what are these guys producing actually they are producing stuff that is associated to the district in which they reside in this case these guys are only making items you know that are based on the forest industry so for example, uh, let's say this building, what does it make? Planks for life. They make planks. Now, it's not like that, you know, they can grab a tree and voila, you have a plank. And this building makes like, uh, also planks. Oh, okay, and this building, wait a second, this building, pellet fuels. Okay, so these buildings actually require the raw materials that are coming from the industries that like i said that they are associated with but since these um, resources are not here present in the ground like i told you in the previous episode they will make only the items that uh yeah, for the third time i'm saying this you know the district they are associated with this case for, for example farming so this is for example an a baking company now some of this stuff is being imported uh, I don't think that we have any many issues with in the oil area here because we have an oil area so these guys do get like stuff from the probably from this oil field over here but I've been thinking you know um th since this city still has to build a bit built a uh, bigger you know I wonder what would happen if we create like uh, for the three remaining um, um, yeah, raw materials uh, far away places would they bring it over there that's the question because we have a lot of places here also here by the way maybe even here I, I, I don't know I mean let me have a look here at the resources uh, area and I see that we have a lot of farmland that's for sure also a lot of oil we don't have a lot of ore this is the biggest uh, one and it's closest to this highway as well so maybe uh and we also need forestry so yeah the forestry you can see that by this you know by um this by this greeny but this for example is not forestry okay let's make these big areas you know just uh, useful areas we need uh, let me go back to this area again we need this ore and we need a little bit of um, fertile ground and also a little bit of you know forestry we can take it from here so we can grab this nice corner over here and utilize that I think that's a good idea okay let's let's have a check before we go on um, I just press play why not they can the city just continue now let me grab a simple two-lane road I think this is fairly big enough yeah I think so. Um, okay, let's zone up that place. Let, let's zone the places. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm not going to use the DLC industry. I'm just going to use the regular industries for um, for uh, obtaining the material. So I'm not doing this, but I'm using this. <laughs> Yeah, I think that will do. I mean, the, like I said, the oil is not really necessary because you already have that over here. Now the question is, like, how do we get that stuff to this highway? Um, okay, we are going to do it like this. We are going to make a roundabout. We are creating the f mm, free cursor mode. Uh, we do an elevation of like 12. The radius we are going to increase to, let's say, 88. Uh, absolute elevation. Absolute elevation. So what if I sort of say like, okay, we are putting that roughly here. Let's see what happens. I don't know if this is 
just what I thought. <laughs> of course, that road. Oh, we have to fix that road anyway. So we make it a highway road of three lanes. This one, and then we put it up into the air like uh, this. While I also turn off the tree anarchy. And also activate the regular anarchy. Here we go, you two. Hey, we have a nice uh, roundabout there. Great. Now let me remove a little bit of those trees around here because we need to put some on and off ramps on this thing. Just like that. Now this will be interesting. Now I will look at this thing here. What is going on here? I grab this road. I say like, okay, this, this, and then to the ground. Yeah, thank you. Okay, now we are grabbing the network multi-tool and we are going to look at the notes. Now the notes are like, yeah, so as you can see, this roundabout is not perfectly, you know, sort of in line with uh, this highway. So first, we are going to remove this and we are going to take the move it mod and select all the nodes in this roundabout like that yeah like that and then we are going to turn the roundabout like that now it's better orientated i think uh i think yeah i think yeah Okay, so we have now this roundabout here, and we are using the network multi-tool, and we are going to add some nodes. Uh, I think here it's okay, and uh, here we are going to do, it, to do it from here. Here it's like ready, coming from there, and here we will do it from there. Great. So, then we are grabbing the highway, this thing. And now we are going to utilize... Um, Hmm. The network multi-tool. Come on, here you go. The parallel mod in the network multi-tool. You know why? Because we love the dad, the darn thing. Uh, we take this one as well, so we get like an idea of how far we have to go, which will be yeah, like this. So we put it down. Then we delete this section. We take it again. And then from here we can make a yeah, connection to there. Oh my life. <laughs> okay, a little bit better than that. And use the move it mod. We will slope this whole stuff. No, no problems, no problems. Let's take this. Uh, what am I doing? Let's take uh, this tool again. And we're going from here to there to there to roughly there. And here we are also aligning it up with this node, which is, I think, yeah, this is the, <laughs> I can kill myself. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> okay, come on. That line in the middle, perfectly. Pitching, done. No issues, no tissues. Okay, remove this, we take this, we take that. And now I cannot, oh, okay, yeah, we create that, no problems, and here, we create that, and then here we just say like, yeah, nine units is fine, this is also nine units, also fine, very, very fine. Now, let's grab the move it mod, and let's make this a little bit better, like that, and also, let's ink, let's make this uh cannot work you know with after I use the network multi tool if that is open you cannot use the move it mod for some reason I mean the move it mod I mean the find road tools to uh, heighten this stuff up like that and here the same and here we see that those nodes are not the same at the same spot so I will do that manually like that like that like that and then here we say now the slope from here to there ka -ching. and also from here to there and ka -ching. now you see this has only like four notes and this has like five notes um 
yeah, we have one node here. Well, we have actually two here. So the thing we are going to do is remove this node and then use the move it mod to drag this node roughly to the same location as this one. Yeah, that's that's good enough. And then we do the sloping thing again from here to there. OK, that will make that a, a, sim a little bit better. So little black bar, no issue. You just grab the node, you move around it a little bit and it's fine. Yeah. So let me do the other side. Be right back. And there we have like the other side also uh, with on and off ramps. And I also put like the uh, lane connectors already in place so that the traffic uh, can go their way. The only thing I did not do is the roundabout yet because we still have to attach a road here. Like in this case, this one. So let me put it 10 units out and then 12 by zero, which is fine. And we do here the same. So let's make this go to also, how far did I do it on this side? Only six or 10? 10 units out. Okie dokie. 10 units out. Yes. And then we bring it down and basically we bring it into this forest area. And here we have like this park and we have like this park. Now this can act actually perfectly well as you know, it's sort of a main road. So no argues there. And I want this to be parallel with that tree line. You know, just why? Because I like it. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Why not? Um, here. Now, let me have a thought about this. Uh, <laughs> what if I just bring it over there, you know, diagonally? That's fine. This can just go into there. And here we can actually do the same thing, you know, why? Because why not? Right? So, okay, now we're grabbing a normal road. Mm, let's say the rural roads for the um, this one, for this area. I mean, already this road is a little bit OTT for this area, but okay, we are, I will take it. So from here to there, but this will all be like the, um, area where they will produce basically crops but not with the industrial uh, DLC they only will create crops uh, using normal uh, factories now you might ask yourself like yeah but snowy how do you get like your you know the workers there yeah I've been thinking about that how to get workers there and you know I was I was thinking about maybe maybe using a bus line coming over here that would not be such a bad idea, I think. I don't know, actually, to be honest. So I'm just, uh, I'm just going along, you know, just plunk down some roads here and there, left and right, because really it does not really matter. Because this will not be like a heavy industry. Let me remove this part. Yeah, that's fine. And this is then the area for the for the ore no yeah for the ore i will use normal roads for that and actually i want these roads to be straight to this road like that and then to there and then go on to there be dis disconnected from there again yeah mm. yeah here the same thing actually you know it's, it does not really matter how it's being situated you know it does not need to be uber uber perfect as long as i can fit some industrial buildings in here and besides it also makes it a little bit more natural you know roads here and there and nowhere and everywhere and actually nowhere because we are in the middle of nowhere so who cares who cares like that like that and a little bit like that Okay, so uh, did I zone these areas already? No, I did not. So let me do that. The prospect park will be like this. Oh, not the forestry. No, it will be. Uh, no, not the ore. <laughs> not another farm. Ore. You will be ore. Thank you. You will be a farm. 
And you will be a forest. Got that? Okay. So, now we still need to do the forest area as well. And for that we also need a, uh, you know, also the rural road. So, I will be planting these and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I've built this extra area. And, you know, something crossed my mind that I was thinking about, like, we are having also this thing, this thing over here. And the train line is not being used, so why not connect that to that area over here? And that's the reason why I built this place. And I was thinking, I was actually wondering what would happen if you use the um, storage facilities of the DLC industries in combination with these kind of uh, parts. And we are going to try that out here. So we start with the ore industry. We started over here, so we grab, for example, this thing. Yeah, it will be big enough. We put it, uh, let's say, here. Uh, for the, let's see, yeah, the forest industry, we need, what is the storage thing here? It's, I think, a large yog, 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 <laughs> large yog, 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 yeah, sure. Uh, a large log yard. So how much uh, can be put in that? Uh, more than enough. Yep, that's fine. And then the last one would be uh, for the farmer. Yeah, those will be just uh, silos, I guess. I take the big silo, this one. Put that actually over there. Let's create a little bit of space between them. Like that. Wow, look at that terrain. Ugh, I hate that, you know, when that happens. <laughs> okay, let's uh, fix that terrain a little bit. A little bit more, you know. Less. Okay, less intrusive. Not that there is like a slight hill on the back, it's fine, but keep it nice. Ooh. Okay, let's let's just see if this e even will work. I have no idea. So some of these buildings are starting to develop here. Uh, also here a few and here a few. Okay, let's build us that bus depot. Here is my bus depot. Okay, now let's see. We are going to put it somewhere, uh, I think here. It's a nice spot where we don't have any issues with the noise. Now, we're starting a line that comes actually all the way from here, you know, from these areas. Now, I have to have a look because the buses will use this roundabout and they will go here. They will go there and make a U-turn here, but they cannot do it. Come on, are you? Oh, wait a second, that's the wrong end. From there and then, <laughs> and then there. Relatively easy, I guess. Uh, then we go there for a stop. Why would we make a stop there? I don't know. No, that makes no sense to make a stop there. Mm. No, I would say like if you go from here and you go then there and you come back and then yeah okay sort of so okay from here that's a long way actually so let's keep it simple uh so this is like this is a good place to stop this is a good place to stop you know we go we utilize all these places where we can stop nicely also here and then here and then let's see where we can go from here. Maybe stop here in the middle or use this area. No, yeah, we stop here. That's better. And then from there, we will stop roughly there. That's nice. And then we stop there. And then take this roundabout. You know what? We are stopping actually there. Then we take this round up. Oh, we probably cannot take a left turn here. Ay, ay. Okay, then we do it like this. We come back like that. Take the roundabout. Make another stop um, here. And now we have to bring this back. 
to this area and now it will drive into the prospect park over here so it's say like you know what you guys you drive in there you drive even there and then from there on we will finish the line perfect how many buses which model how many models do we have a bus articulated airport bus double decker airport bus mm, sky bus i don't know how many those hold i have no idea so let me see how many vehicles 45 no 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 that not that much only let's start with eight i know it's a long line but you know it has to do now let's see we want to have like also a uh where is this let's see let's see let's see this thing over here yeah we put that over there and then this thing has to be connected to that thing uh we could use the parallel mod you know make it go parallel with this road i i don't see any issues with that yeah because this goes up where did i put it oh there okay first of all we are selecting the curved track then we turn off all the snapping crappy things and we go to do this manually the first uh yeah you know the first stretches yeah manually select this option also by the way like that because we have to go i need to end up actually on the other side of that roundabout i cannot go underground here yet because we have an underground road here but from here to there now i have to be careful i cannot see the number eight no wait a second this is 12 okay nice now we go underground Oh, that's the wrong button. Okay, I needed that one. Thank you. And then from here, we're going to the other side. Just like that. Nothing too complicated. And then from here, we take an 8 by... Uh, let's make it a little bit shorter. 5 by... Construction cost is always covering my <laughs> point. And I think that will be fine. Look at that. Well, okay, that is not looking bad. We can make like a nice uh, parallel mode from that. Now I know that we have like some um, four lane areas over here, four lane roads and three lanes, you know, and you know, in order to comply with lane mathematics. So we need a little bit of uh, space uh, to um, um avoid you know contact with the road um in that case we are going to select the button that says create parallel mod um we go from here to there like that like that and we will take a little bit more space than this thing will say so just a little bit i think 20 will do yeah 20 will do it will also give no issues here in this band because look this will all i need to manual adjust this and you can already see how close it is to this four lane road so i kind of anticipated that already okay so here we go there and there and there now if i'm right it will just follow the contours of that perfectly yeah of that uh, bridge loving it great and i think here it will stop because we need to go in that direction yeah let's press the enter button boom nah the computer did not explode nice this is actually looking pretty niche you know look at that look at that yeah actually it goes perfectly well under that line there how about this let me pull those this away and this away and then use the connection mod this one to connect this with that you know and then make a nice nice curve like that i mean that's a lot better right 
Now we need to uh, do something about this because this looks a little bit hideous. So we remove this. Actually, we can remove that. And what I'm going to do is with the move it mod, I'm going to drag this a little bit like that. Yeah, and then, you know, actually, I think with this thing and then this thing, and then we can just connect it up through this way. I think straighter it cannot be, I guess. Well, maybe a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. It's okay. That is running that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, over the river. And that needs to connect and up to here. Okay, that's going to be interesting. So we are selecting this track again. Taking this option, turn this on, and we just drag this thing uh, to here. But we press home. We deal with the elevations later. Uh, this is just skimping the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a connection from here like that. And then use the connection tool from here to here again. And we use the equal button to equalize this out. And we say like, ta-da. Um, yeah, the only thing is like, yeah, we need to connect this, huh? Yeah, we need to connect this stuff. Now, uh, preferably, I would love to use the... Um, yeah, why not? The... Uh, the uh, blah, blah, blah. I will show you. I forgot the name. Temporary. But uh, once I see it, then I know what I'm talking about. Oh, I already know it. The train triangle. First of all, we are making a curve of 12 by 12. We bring that over to there. And then we are going to the... Junctions, jun jun junctions, and then we are grabbing here the under, not the underground, but the train triangle. Now, why this train triangle? Because it allows me also to get a train line up, you know, further down, you know, to this area. Maybe if I if it's needed. Uh, now this is a little bit, yeah, yeah. How do we get this nice and straight? That's the question. Um, okay, let's remove this, remove this. What will the connection option say about this and this? Well, first of all, <laughs> you need a better road than that. I don't know why I chose that road. I have no idea. Let's pick this thing so it's used and do this again. You would think, you know, that when you select two items, two road pieces, whatever they are, that the program is smart enough to recognize what it is. But yeah, apparently it does not. So, but anyway, it's connected. Uh, I'm very happy with that now. So let's uh, let's do a little bit of terraforming here around this thing you know this area can later be used maybe for i don't know for waste or, or uh, you know, something else energy no not energy production whatever we will see what happens yeah but it is connected so uh, all the stuff that is now being produced here we have now an active bus line and we still have uh, industrial demand. So we are going to fulfill it. We are going to put like this stuff here. And gradually I will fill this up here. And a little bit here. And also here. And what I'm very curious about is that if these buildings will actually put stuff in the, um, in the silos over here. And they do, they actually do. This, this one not so much, and this thing, well, okay. So the ore most, and the forest the less. Okay, so we will put a little bit more forestry buildings over here, like that. So more is being produced, also like that. Nice, 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 nice. Okay guys, so 
I think uh, I think we, we did something quite interesting over here. We built ourselves a you know a lovely looking uh, uh, exchange uh, over here, and uh, our um, specialized goods, um, the raw materials, and have like the dedicated um, um, storage uh, facilities for that. And actually, it works. Yeah. So what I will do off screen is a little bit of um, working on the terrain because the terrain is a little bit junky jerky over here and uh, yeah I hope to see you soon back in episode 6 and then uh, we can continue uh, further building up the city okay okay guys so thank you for watching if you still uh, like this nonsense then uh, give it a thumbs up Get, hit, hit the uh, subscribe button hit that bell icon and um, yeah then you always get a notification of uh, when this uh, yeah this stuff uh, appears <laughs> okay guys thank you for watching and until next time see you bye bye